Hello and welcome to AKA Our 80s Life. And today we're really excited. We're here in Tulsa at the Outsiders Museum and we're about to get to go inside the house and tour the house that was used in the movie. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're gonna watch the movie on the line. If you hadn't already, be sure and check out our other video that we made on filming locations around here in Tulsa. We drove all over town to bring you to those locations, so be sure and watch that video. We will link it. And now let's go check out the Outsiders Museum. Hey, we're going in. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. And we're the only people in here right now. <laughs> and, and it's air conditioned. It's just like the house in the movie. So this house has actually been restored to look like it looked in the movie. I'm pretty sure it did not look like this when Danny Boy bought it, but wow. And look, they even have the pictures and memorabilia there on the mantle. How cool is that? the attention to details there's all these little details that tell you about the character and here are their clothes this one's signed <laughs> Joey oh look at Patrick Swayze smoking in the hairstylist chair, <laughs> getting his makeup done. See Thomas Howell getting his scars put on. Very cool. All right, I just learned something very exciting. Me and 2-Bit share the same name. It's yeah. Keith 2-Bit Matthews. <laughs> Okay, well, should I start calling you 2-Bit? <laughs> you know, they call him that. That's not exactly a compliment. And he likes Disney. So. And he likes Mickey Mouse. He wore Mickey Mouse shirts in the movie. And look, there it is. There's that Mickey Mouse shirt. Cool. Look at all these different versions of the Outsiders. Oh my goodness. So many. There's Essie Hinton's yearbook, and there she is. Stay gold. Y'all, look who we're with here. It's Danny Boy, and you are the one that founded this, this museum. I found it for myself about 12 years ago on tour, 2009. 
The house was for sale. I could not believe one, the house was still in existence. Two, that it was for sale. And three, that it could be had for $42,000. Coming from Hollywood, California, there's not much uh, <laughs> real estate yeah. there that could be Welcome had for, for 42 grand, much less the outsider's house. But it wasn't for another five years. I kept going back and forth, and every year I'd come back, the house looked worse for wear. So at year five, I thought, I better do something. It doesn't look like anybody else is doing anything about it. So we inquired with the owner. We ended up getting the house for $15,000. Uh, and I thought I had stole the house and when I got here I bought it sight unseen so I had only oh. seen the outside of it. Once I went inside I realized that she knew what she was doing and <laughs> it was a fair deal let's say that and I, it was the best deal of my life and so but it, why I offer that story up is because then I had to ask people for help. It was no longer going to be Danny Boy's Greaser Fort or his second home in, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It would have to be an Outsiders Museum and if that yeah. was something that would, uh, would raise the, uh, you know awareness and, and show kids what a, a, a brilliant author and what the S.E. Hinton legacy means to Tulsans and, and Americans worldwide. And so we started to do it. It took three years and I met just about everybody involved with the movie at some point or another. And uh, awesome. here we are now in 2020 uh, watching Movie on the Lawn. This is the only second time we've ever done this. Oh, cool. First time was a week after the grand opening. So this is the second time we've ever shown it. Wow. We show the complete novel because it has 22 extra minutes and some of those minutes are here at the house. And we're so, excited. We have Seen that? Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You see it, and we're going to play the special features in about a minute when it gets dark enough. But it's a this is a passion project, and I, I don't take credit for any of it because I couldn't do any of it. I bought it and then asked for help, and and the best thing I did in that moment was be humble enough to ask for help. Because when you're six foot six, and I like to think you know. <laughs> Uh, a brolic six foot six, you, people assume that you should be able to fix all this, and I have no idea. <laughs> a lot and I was just a fan with one poster and a dream, and, and it turned into this. So I thank so everybody for amazing. helping me do this. Yeah. And I hope it's here way longer than we are, and so I hope to be here for a long time, but I hope this thing lasts for another 100 years. And it's the pride of North Tulsa, to say the least, and uh, that's everybody's doing, not mine. So. Well, you've done a great job you with did. it. And it really looks like it did in the movie, and I know that was a lot of work to get it back to that state. And I know when I was getting myself into it. <laughs> All right, so I've seen a lot of interviews with you, and I have one question that I don't know if it's been asked, at least I haven't seen it. So, is there one character that you relate most yeah, to in the movie? Of course, Dallas Winston. I mean, right. Dallas. As a kid, I mean, I want to be Dallas Winston or Matt Dillon so bad it hurt. And, oh. you know, that's the coolest dude in the planet. And I'm a, I'm a native New Yorker who grew up in L.A., so I had that, you know, I thought New York was the only place I'd get caught up in a murder beef. And I, I felt like that character. But between yeah. him and Johnny, if, if, if there's a hybrid of those two, you know? Yeah. Okay. It would be those two for sure. I empathize with Johnny's situation, and and, yeah. and, I, I, and I, everybody at that age, when I saw it at 13, wanted to be Matt Dillon. So. That is awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Most of them. Yeah. So, yeah, for well, sure. Well, thank you so much for your hospitality. Nah, I appreciate yeah. it, man. And I, you know, this is awesome. Uh, uh, enjoy yourself. This is a dream come true in a lot of uh, ways for all of us because uh, you would have told me, you know, ten years ago, you're gonna be over here at the house watching the, you know, the movie on yeah. the lawn. I would have been yeah. way. It's so magical being here. It's a real here. thing. Yeah. 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 It's a dream come true for me to be here, just sitting here to watch it on site, the movie, on the location, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I just wanted to thank you guys for coming out. Stay gold, guys. Enjoy the show. Okay, I got my popcorn. The movie's starting. This is so cool. We're in the yard. We're in the yard. When you're a kid, everything's new. Dawn. Like the way you dig sunsets, Pony, that's a goal. Keep it that way, it's a good way to be. See? That was awesome! That was so cool to watch the movie on the line at yeah. the Curtis Brothers' house. And we got to see some extra scenes that weren't in the one that we watched, which was the original release. There's about 20 extra minutes plus a behind the scenes um, like making a video. So that was really cool. Mm -hmm. So which uh, version do you like better? I think I like the new version. I like the new one better. They too. added a bunch of music from the era, which was cool. They added some scenes that make the movie make more sense. If you hadn't read the yeah. book. If you hadn't read the book. When I read the book, I was thinking, why didn't they include this? Why didn't they include that? And then when they redid it, 
so they added the extra scenes they did include those details so yeah i definitely liked the newer version better which i think was released about 10 years ago so if you're watching the movie up for the the new enhanced version it, it was better i thought but yeah. yeah it was so fun watching it right here at the house yeah, it was really cool to uh, meet uh, danny boy o'connor as well and mm -hmm. for his hospitality of him inviting everyone out to uh, watch the movie here. So thanks for that, that as well. Was, that was awesome. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to watch our other video where we'll take you to all the locations around Tulsa. Don't forget to subscribe. We will see you soon. Sorry, it's kind of dark. In case we don't see you, good afternoon. Good evening. And good night from and, Tulsa. And stay gold. Oh, and stay gold. <laughs>